Alright guys, welcome back to XCOM, Enemy Unknown. We're doing a target extraction today, and we have a bunch of rewards with this, so that's kinda cool. Alright, uh, so, let's You're launch it. confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Uh, so everyone has plasma pistols, except for these two, obvi for obvious reasons. But they have their weapons too, so everyone's good. Uh, don't need to change anything, let's go. I'll see what kind of glitches we'll see today. Because I've been not very lucky with those regard in those regards, but prepare for deployment strike one. It's gonna be another thin man mission. In the UK. Better not be another fucking thin man mission. I'm kind of mighty tired of those. I might start, I might start just removing these because these are like you know they're not even in question if I'm gonna win or not. But you know we'll see. So we have done this map before. This is the time that uh, I. Well, actually, everyone still has Psy Armor, now that I think, think about it. The time I fucked up that stuff and whatever. Remember that time? That was good times. Alright, let's let's go and uh, bring my snipers up here. You know, they, they get like, it's it's as if they're in partial cover. It's awesome. Let's uh, move them right up here. It's because I'm, I'm a baller and I love, I love this cloaking ability. Alright. Same deal then. I mean, nobody's here, so. I like having them in that high position. It's kind of just fun. Because, I mean, that's like the highest point in the map, is it not? Oh god, you know, he's revealed. Well, who cares? Alright, let's, let's go all the way to the fountain then. Oh god. Thin man! Wait, why, why did it have like yellow and whatever? Well, you know, I know how much you love kills, uh, Mr. Colin, so you get the opening shot. And these are really easy guys, apparently. I should maybe try and mind phrase on them, because then she'll get uh, levels, up, levels up in her uh, psionic abilities, too. Oh, whatever. I think uh, Mr. Shiv has a uh, certain but Volkov has the rest of it too. <laughs> it's like a 100% chance to hit. He doesn't even care. Well, I, I, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with my format, but I guess I'll decide that for next week now, won't I? Um, because, you know, if this is all that, that we see is Thin Men, then uh, we're going to probably change something up. I mean, we can have fun and just... I mean, they, they can poison us. I'm starting to just wonder if I should just, just fuck it and run all the way to the end. Oh, Jesus. It's XCOM. Oh, it's even more of them. Alright, well, snipers, you get a bunch of shots off. And they're all your pickings. Oh, well, she can go size someone. Maybe she should move behind a, the bus, though, before she does that. Just because I'm worried. Alright, go psionic attack him. Well, that was easy. No, maybe she shouldn't be behind the bus because now she doesn't get a, a shot anymore with these these guys. <laughs> right, through, right through the car. Awesome. Uh, so there's a guy all the way up there now, and I guess we'll just head up here then. Now, the, f the fact he can see somebody does that mean? Vol well, actually, Volkov already got his two shots off. You guys, seventy percent. I mean. Pretty okay shot. You get. I don't know why all of XCOM gets these amazing shots. Okay, the game. The game is such an easy now. Oh well. We don't see anybody else, so we might as well just kind of move up. I oh, know. A Tin Man. Nah, just kidding. That's that's crazy accuracy. 
You know, there, there's other missions like bomb defusal missions, but I'm kind of I'm wondering right now, like, is this the only option you get? Oh god, it's more of them. Help me! Over here! I'll I'll be there in a, a second, my lady. XCOM is here to save the day. Okay, does uh does Volkov get to be a buzzkill and kill everyone? Nope, he doesn't actually, so we're gonna cloak. And we're probably gonna have to run through that that smoke there now that I think about it. Nah, actually, she should avoid it. Actually, he'll, she'll avoid it even more now. Yeah, because that, that's apparently the most efficient route to take. I kind of wanted to get another mind fray off, because like there's really no point in me doing these missions unless I'm like whatever. The hell now? Look at this. I have so many buttons here that apparently F2 is now a button. Wait, wait, that doesn't even work. That switches to Volkov. This is not actually a button. I have to actually manually press it now. That's interesting. Oh god, he's everywhere. Oh, what? Oh no, you overwatched. Fuck. I forgot I did that with you. Oh, fucking Volkov, you're too fucking good at this. Oh good, they're not all dead. They're afraid. Over here! I'm here! Yeah, we know you're there. Don't worry. You got your back. Alright, well. Mine bullets time. Oh, it failed. Like, I'm wondering if it's even worthwhile for me to actually do anything about this. I can't- I can't cloak him now. Her. Whatever. Whatever, just overwatch everyone. Maybe he won't move then. <laughs> you gotta care about your fucking petty poison. I'm coming, I'm just- I'm- I'm trying to fucking level up my guy. Cause that's what- oh wait, uh, I have to wait a turn. Whatever, fine, we'll <laughs> wait a turn, who cares? <laughs> just call it, eat that poison. Oh Jesus, Help don't- Over here. Okay, bitch, I'm not gonna rescue you if you're gonna be like this, okay? I guess you might as well just go up here and fucking mind frame or whatever the fuck it is. Go, do it. If it doesn't work this time, I'm just gonna kill him. Okay, fuck this. This is like the most strongest willed fucking guy I've ever seen. I'm now get, kind of getting bored with you. So much for leveling, guys. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just... Let's, let's just start the, the long... Oh shit, no. There was a guy here the whole time. But uh have to help me. There's just so many of them. They're everywhere. We have to get out of here. I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. Who the hell is VIP back to the Sky Ranger for evac? Who the fuck is this? Like Tom Cruise or some shit? Like, why do we care about this person? Heads up, boys and girls. Intel suggests hostiles are headed right for you. Well, you made a mistake, son. I was gonna let you just go, but, you know. Ah, uh, it's a thin man. God, it's more thin men. Why are they all the way over there? That's fucking annoying. Oh, well. You have to heal Those this person. Things. They had so many bodies in there. I just don't understand it. Who the hell voices this character? Because I already hate them. So I, I just want to know never to buy their products for the future. All right, well, Mr. Colin, you're gonna go and draw their fire like a good Colin does. And you go over here, Mr. Shiv. I have Mr. Everybody. I have Mr. Cole and Mr. Shiv. These are these two like fucking brothers or something? 
But if, wait, if you're wondering why I'm just kind of moving into their just Overwatch, I don't care. Are advancing on your location. Ready up. You've received some intel? I mean, Thin Men are really not a threat to me anymore. <laughs> you know, every time Volkov misses, take a shot. That's 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 the new drinking game. All right. Oh look, it's they're behind me. Oh, for crap's sake. Well, uh. Let's see, we got one shot, two shot. Thank God you found me. I would have ended up just like all the others. Ted out Ted voice acting. Alright, well let's just Let's get, let's just kill both of them and then maybe I'll mind phrase the last one. I think he's like up there somewhere. And the last, the last kill will go to Mr. Cullen, who will just kind of run up there and, uh, and not give a fuck. Are you serious? We don't see him? Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he made it just behind cover there. Okay, because you don't have line of sight, you don't you don't want to shoot him. All right. Uh, well, let's just get ready to get this person over. At least one more kill for the uh, valiant. Uh, the val the va the valiant Mr. Uh, Mr. Cullen. Oh god, you shot him with two HP gone. That's horrifying. Well, I'm gonna use mind bullets on you. What do you think about that? It's a flank too. Well, that's enough of this mission. And I think I'm probably just gonna edit these out because this is not even really a challenge. Like, if you ever see one of these, you're gonna be like... Oh, oh fucking hell, I don't want to hear her. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna do like summaries from now on of these guys, so... Fucking hell. It was just way too easy. I'll do that for next week. Because I, I don't know how many how much more time it's gonna take for me to level up some people. I mean, it's a good opportunity for me just to do mine free all the time. We didn't leave anything to chance, and it paid off. Excellent work, Commander. Alright, so here we have either Psypanic, which, uh... Uh, causes them to panic on the next turn. Robotic enemies can't do shit. Um, you've seen me pan you've seen Mr. Shiv panic, and you know what it does. Um, you basically have a chance of doing irrational behaviors, like you don't have control over your person for that turn. They do whatever the fuck they want. In Mr. Shiv's case, he spent his turns actually shooting the enemy and and doing a good job whenever he panicked. Uh, which is, you know, and you can also shoot allies, potentially, if you panic. So you're leaving this a lot to luck whenever you get this. You can't really know what they're going to do. On the other hand, you have Psy Inspiration, which uh, removes Mind Frame Panic from all allies within three tiles. And it strengthens their will by plus uh, 30 for uh, two turns. That's actually kind of good, because um, the more will you have, the more defense you have against... Uh, uh, the more defense you have against, like... Attacks against your will, kind of a thing. It's it's interesting. So, uh, like like mind control, which you haven't actually seen mind control me once, which is actually surprising to me. But uh, some some of the mind attacks that you that the ethereal does, and some other and the other guys also do this kind of shit. Oh look, we get a we get our level up. So disabling shot, I'll take. Might as well. We already have a battle scanner sniper, so. Surprisingly, the will didn't actually go up. I thought I thought the will levels up. Every turn. Okay. Remember, oh. we will be watching. Uh, I'm kind of looking now. Like Volkov's will is like 75. He hasn't gone down once. Zhang's is like 80. Wow, these guys have really good will. You're supposed to get will every time. 
He probably is. Like, XXX Snipes, really low will because he actually got downed one time. Especially Mr. Shiv, 35. That's terrible will. He can't come, he cannot come with me during that mission, but uh, yeah, we got some psionic testing going on. All right. And we got some more, uh, we got some more of these, whatever these things are, these, uh, these beautiful ships. We'll put some Phoenix cannons on them. Figure I might as well. And I can't transfer them right now. So now we have the Gollop Chamber, whatever the fuck that is. It, it advances the story, so yeah, don't even worry about it. Um, it's something that's going to still take a little while for us to, to ready up, so don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to transfer some of these guys away. Alright, we need we need two more, two more ships, and then we're, we're basically done with Firestorms forever. I mean, we have a shit ton of money, a shit ton of Illyrium, and a shit ton of alloys, and we can probably even go to Grey Market and probably sell things like these, uh, whatever this shit is. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Yeah, we don't even care. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I can't, I can't actually sell that. Oh, maybe the stuff that it doesn't, that story related doesn't want me to sell. Uh. All right, let's see what else we got. Advanced construction, advanced repair, a bunch of shiv lasers and shit, and alien grenades. Sure, let's get unlimited grenades. I'll make sure production begins immediately, and as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. We could just probably just do everything, because why not? Let's get all the fucking research projects. Yeah. This is how we do it. Do I even care at this point? It's like, I, I have everything. Whatever, we don't care. Okay, carry on. Commander, you should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Enemy is padlocked. So we have track now if we need it. Approaching target now. Holy shit, this thing's huge! It has a railgun! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was freaky. Maybe I should have that dodge thing available too. Holy shit. 23 crew size. Ethereal, Muton Elite, Muton, Muton Berserker, uh, Cyberdisk, Drone, and Floater. Holy fuck! It's a battleship in France. Well, that's certainly going to be an exciting episode for next week. Won't you agree, guys? I certainly think you will agree. Maybe. I don't know. Well, until next week, guys, we will be watching.